Hey, beautiful people. Welcome to my channel in the No Tarot 1122. All right, so Leo, I had already pulled some cards for you. I am going to go ahead and put them back in the deck and reshuffle. All right, but someone may be going through some financial issues. You may see that your finances are going out of multiple areas. You might want to hone that in. Check out your um your bank statements and see, see where your money is leaking. All right, so there may be a need for you to kind of like pull back on unnecessary expenses right now okay if you are going through some type of uh, financial issues it does look like you are going to be partnering with someone this could be someone that actually um, helps you out of this situation maybe give you a loan pay your bills off for you whatever I don't know but also some of you you may um, actually have a new job um, that will give you a bump in increase and also someone here may have a business you might be partnering with someone here to kind of you know help you you know recover all right so we have fulfillment of wishes look like you got a waterfall of um blessings coming for you this could be money this could be other things that you want in your life okay so we have triumph and uh, success take note of the red flags here okay that red flag for me is lessons and things like that. Experiences that you've gathered knowledge and wisdom from the past, and you're using that to move forward, okay? So we're not repeating mistakes here. All right, so let's see. And excuse me. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, in the morning, whoo, yeah, there's that. This is crazy. I'm having all kind of issues now doing this reading. All right. All right. And this is the second time that I had to start this reading. Okay. So give me messages for Leo. What do we need to know? What's coming towards this? Give me three. All right. Stand your ground. All right. So no matter what it is that you're doing, if you're doing something positive to help yourself out in a situation, keep going here. Don't back down. You're on the right path. Be hopeful here, sweetheart. Have faith that things are working out. All you need is that little mustard seed, okay? But if you got more, put that on it too. I'm just saying, we got fertility on the bottom of the deck. So this is something that's actually coming towards you, all right? You got blessings, fertility. Some of y'all got some babies coming too. Let's see. Okay. Disruptions. All right. So there might be some obstacles and challenges here. You need to take note of that. Uh, what are the obstacles? What are they stopping you from achieving? All right. Um, yeah. What I've noticed is that sometimes if you get a whole bunch of roadblocks and things like that, especially when it comes to relationships, um, sweetheart, sometimes that's a stop sign telling you, hey, something, something ain't right here. You need to back that thing on up and go in another direction. All right. But. In this case, since we have stand your ground, there may be something that you're working towards. It's going to be very successful, and you have to work your butt off to get it here, sweetheart. That and have faith that things are going to work out for you, okay? So sometimes disruptions are like, you know, little roadblocks here and there, and we come across people, situations that we need to use wisdom as source for guidance and things like that. Learn how to manifest the things that we want here. And whatever ever this disruption is, it's um, kind of heartbreaking here for someone. For me, um, someone may actually have left a situation that was unhealthy because it wasn't working out for them. And someone here is feeling some type of way about this situation, okay? Um, yeah, there's that. Someone's trying to look at the bright side of this, and this could be a love situation here. All right, you may be letting a situation um, lay in a relationship to rest here. But there's something new coming here. <clears throat> Let's see, be open to it. Let's see. Give me messages. Yeah, rest and rejuvenate. Rest and recover here. Rest and become stable, okay? All right, let's see. All right, you have some communication coming in here as well. Memories of love. Look at this. I told you it was coming up. All right, let's see. So somebody was possibly in a connection that wasn't working out. Many roadblocks, a lot of... Mm -hmm. 
a lot of stop start. Someone here may have been actually closed off with their emotions here. All right, only allowing you to come so far. So you may have actually ended up taking a break from this situation. All right, um, walked away from this situation, trying to recover, get your strength back. Someone is having an issue doing that too, suffering in silence. Why? Because of memories of love. Here, their heart is hurt. Look at that. Emotional loss. But you already know the truth about this situation. So you have a choice. Either you want to deal with this person and whatever calamities they bring into your life and deal with the consequences. Or you can close this cycle out, stand your ground, move forward, do what's best for you. And hope for the best for that past person. Hope they get their, you know, stuff together. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see. And then we have discontent and boredom. Yeah, there's a change that is needed here. We have 4-4. Four, four. All right. There's a change that is needed here. And then also there's accelerated motion that wants to stick out here as well. So once you decide, fully decide... To put put to rest a situation that is really causing a lot of conflict, hindrances in your life. Once you decide to do that and move on, um, transform your life, grow, elevate, you understand, level up, whatever it is. Um, things are going to start moving really fast for you. <clears throat> Excuse me. You'll start seeing things manifest in your life. Look at this. And sources behind this. I told you. Look at this. Recognition and reward. Should you decide to take the admission, accept the admission, close the door, and step out on faith. Okay, that little mustard seed. Step out on faith. Stand your ground. Don't back down, sweetheart. Source is going to show you some things that could actually happen in your life. That wish fulfillment and things like that. The things that you deserve, not the things that you're settling for. All right? So let's see. I actually want to pull some of these. Let's see what's going on. Give me one for stand your ground, please, and thank you. Something about the path was there. Yes, yeah, snap out of it, sweetheart. You are awake. Awake and open your eyes here, okay? See it for what it is, not for what you want it to be. It is what it is, okay? You are good enough. You can have exactly what you want in your life. The person that you want, the kind of love that you want, sweetheart. But first of all, you have to know that you deserve it and get yourself out of something that is not working for you. This is a new dawn, a new day, and I'm feeling good. Let's see, disruptions, please, and thank you. <clears throat> Excuse me, you guys. All right, see, look, there's disruptions, obstacles, challenges, roadblocks. I mean, dead ends, all kind of stuff. And it's because there's a change that needs to take place. Grow and transform your life. Look, elevate that butterfly there, okay? You might be going through a chrysalis moment, okay? The change is taking place. You're starting to see things for what they are. You understand uh, the, the veil is being lifted. The rose-colored glasses are taking off. You understand? Take your power back, sweetheart, and allow these changes to occur. All right, if you're bumping your head up against the wall and this is like not working and it's too hard, sweetheart, sometimes that's source telling you this is not your street. Turn around, exit stage left, get off of the freeway. You're going the wrong direction. All right, let's see. Rest and rejuvenate. <clears throat> let's see. Give me rest and rejuvenate, please. Thank you. Thank you. Introspection, absolutely. It's time for you to take a step back, sweetheart, and reevaluate some things, okay? Reevaluate your motives and what you're going through and where you are in life. Take a leap forward in a new direction, I'm telling you, with the knowledge that you have. Use it to your advantage, okay? Seasons come and go. It's time to actually let this one go and grow, okay? <clears throat> Discontent and boredom. 
somebody here may be so excited, I mean so excited, so used to, to drama, chaos, conflict, and things like that. When it's not in your life, when it is peaceful, it may be a little bit boring, a little bit dull, and then you go and find somebody, and unfortunately, you may find people that have the same traits, and what does it do? It brings chaos in your life, it doesn't lead anywhere, and then you end up having to heal again. So now, in a deck that I'm not even using. Now it's time for you to choose your battles here, sweetheart. Um, be cautious to what you open the door to in your life. You have a choice of who and what you allow in your life for the most part when it comes to your relationships and things like that. You're the one that has to open the door and say, okay, come on in, you know. You see people starting to, you know, wipe their muddy feet on your rug and all kind of things like that. That's metaphorically for coming into your life with a bunch of BS. You understand treating you like you are a, a second class citizen or whatever it is. I don't know where I got that from. I haven't heard that in years. But anywho, <laughs> I'm just saying, treating you like you are less than. You understand? Oh, no. No, 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 no. You cut that off, sweetheart, and do you. Some people are so afraid to be by themselves, you know what I mean, that... They accept anything. Sweetheart, accept yourself. Love on you. You understand? Learn how to, to be alone and be okay with you. Treat yourself. Spoil you. Date you. You understand? Learn something. Grow something. Invest in something. How about invest in you? All the time that you're spending with other people, sweetheart, and you're not even giving yourself even a tenth of what you're expending on other people. You deserve to be loved and you deserve to have that love from yourself, okay? So instead of being bored and discontent, find a hobby. Find someone to help. Find somebody to love on. Find somebody to inspire. You understand what I'm saying? There's that. And also, allow yourself to heal. Allow yourself to, you know, become balanced. Allow yourself to receive the gifts and blessings that Source has for you, okay? And also, while you're in this state, while you're by yourself, focus on becoming your highest self that you can. You understand? Elevate. It is what it is. Don't just go back and repeat cycles and, oh, woe is me. No, 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 sweetheart. You got to do something with that time, all right? A lot of times people, <clears throat> they're so afraid to, you know, go within and grow because, yeah, it's going to hurt. You got to look at some stuff. You got to go within and turn the lights on. What's up in here? All right. We got some skeletons up in here that we need to fix. You got some generational curses in here that some of you guys were actually born to actually dissolve some things that's been going on in your lineage for a while. You understand? You're not even taking your time to look at some of the things that we need to address. Somebody is so worried about a relationship. Worry about the relationship with yourself and God first. Everything else comes second, sweetheart. All right, so there's that. Sorry, I don't mean to bust. I've been doing that <laughs> for the last couple of days. Is it the retrograde? I don't know. But anyway, let's see. All right, let's see what we got going on. What else do we have for Leo? What other messages we got going on for Leo? Hey, this is a Leo reading. Look, you got success. You got success. You have victory and success, re recognition and reward, like I said over here. You understand you have, I mean, come on now, positive movement forward. What else? What else? You know, for those of you that are stuck in, you know, on one person, sweetheart, you get a lot of attention from a lot of others, but you probably don't see it because you got tunnel vision over a person that's not treating you right or a person that's not able or willing to step up into your life like you need them to be, all right? I'm just saying, things are coming together for you here, all right? Oh, look at this. Source is actually working with you. I like it. Source is opening doors for you here, sweetheart. There's a lot of forward movement happening here. All right, so Source, strap on your seatbelt. Source is about to take you to a whole new destination. Let's see. Ooh, look. Somebody is stuck. They won't move, though. Oh, somebody's waiting for somebody to come back. The chariot over here. Broken heart. They want to heal a situation. Reunite with someone here. All right. Oh, I'm not even using this deck in the Six of Pentacles. Somebody that wasn't given enough to the situation. All right. So this person is... Mm, 
somebody has something they want to say to this person. You're holding on to a connection that's not moving forward. Let's see. Somebody isn't moving forward because they're holding on to something else. This disruption here, something that's hindering your growth, your progress. You got to cut that off, sweetheart. It's hindering what's, what you got going on. Look, a lot of drama, a lot of conflict in this situation. You look, I'm telling you, somebody here is stuck in a situation where there's possibly other people, a lot of drama, a lot of chaos, a lot of fighting, push, pull, and someone here has a blessing that's trying to come for them and they're stuck. They won't move away from something that's not for them. Mm -hmm. Somebody is steady. Look, somebody is trying to feed a dead horse here. Literally. It's not going nowhere, baby. There's decay here. And if you don't leave and source is trying to get you to come out of this situation, come out of a situation that is not for your highest good here, sweetheart. Bring you out of conflict, the drama, the chaos. And someone here is like, no, I kind of like it here. Even though that outward appearance, somebody is like, no, I don't like it here. I want it to change. But the person that you're dealing with is not willing to meet you in the middle. You understand? So either you're going to overgive in this situation, not receive what you deserve, or... Either you walk away, heal, focus on what Source is telling you to do, and get the person that Source is trying to align you with, but you're going to have to sacrifice something, and it's not really a sacrifice because this is actually for your highest good, letting this go. Let's see, you have blessings coming for you, but somebody is stuck in a situation. Yeah, see, somebody's stuck in a situation. So it's just telling you, look, you can you can drop all this. Take a deep look at what you're dealing with here, sweetheart. Look at what it's doing to you, mind, body, and soul, because it's affecting you throughout all areas of your life. There's changes that need to be done. Somebody here needs to choose their battles. Master your emotions here. Take the glasses off. What's love got to do with it, baby? I, I mean, honestly... You call yourself loving on somebody else that is kind of low-key abusing you. You understand? And you're allowing it to happen. And this person is not going to change because guess what? They kind of get a thrill off of treating you this way. They don't give no Fs at all. Do you about yourself? So if so, you need to take the reins back on this chariot. Hold up, partner. Let me take control of this because I see you about to take me down a path I do not want to go. There's regrets here. All right? Been there, done that. Get me off of the, the, what do you call it? The Ferris wheel. Let's see. Yeah, see? This person might have other people that they're dealing with. This is causing you stress, worry. Somebody is obsessed about a situation that is not healthy for them. There could be addictions. There could be all kind of drama going on here. You know, the devil brings all kind of stuff, sweetheart. All right? Look at that. And what's behind the devil? Look, the devil is blocking your blessings. Hmm. All right. So what is this that's keeping you from this? I'm just saying. All right. So anyway, I'm sorry, y'all. I've been fussing. Oh, my God. Anyway, hmm. back to the tarot reading. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. All right. So what other messages do we have for Leo? I'm going to switch decks here. What other messages do we have for Leo? What other messages do we have for Leo? Leo, you got a brand new beginning here, sweetheart, a safe beginning. And yet someone here is fighting the process. And I'm going to tell you something, sweetheart. The windows of change, the windows of blessings, some opportunities, they don't stay around long. You got to leap on them when they get here. And uh, you got something that's really good coming for you, some peace, some tranquility, prosperity. All right, peace of mind. Here, may have some new love coming in here uh, soon, but you got to get rid of what's really blocking you from what it is that you're trying to have with someone that doesn't want the same thing that you want. All right, so what other messages do we have for Leo? You got some incoming messages coming in here, sweetheart. I told you, you get a lot of attention. Ooh, look at this. Okay, so look, you have some messages coming in from someone here that you're going to need to use your intuition, Okay. Because behind that is a ten of swords. Somebody is going to tell you that they want to stop the drama. 
They want you to take a leap of faith on this connection here. And I suggest that you think wisely. Okay? Think about this situation wisely. Sit oh, my God. This situation wisely before you invest. Been there, done that. All right, let's see. What has this person showed you? I told you you got an offer coming in here. You might reject it. Somebody wants to reunite. All right. So you got to be careful of the decisions that you make. Tick, 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 tick. Your sand in your hourglass is still going out. How do you want to spend your time? Nine of Cups, the world, temperance. Looks like you may end up walking away from this situation. Is that the magician? It sure is. All right. You might realize that you're dealing with somebody that is very manipulative. All right. Emotionally manipulative. This person is trying to maneuver you around to get what they want. You might understand this and walk away from this situation. Okay. Focus on your pinnacles. Focus on your stability. What is your nine of cups? What do you want to fill those cups with? You got nine. You only need one person to come in with one more. That means that they've gotten themselves together, matching you on the same level. <laughs> you understand? And you guys are filling each other's cups here. This is your person. You're their person. But whoever this is, is depleting you. It's time to actually heal. Find some balance in your life. Get back to you. Literally. All right. Let's see. Any other messages? For Leo? Yeah. Make a decision to grow. Make a decision to flourish. Make a decision to step into who you really are. That empress. Okay? Know your worth. Invest in yourself, sweetheart. Don't accept anything less than you deserve, period. All right? So, yeah. Because, see, some of you guys are dealing with people. Oh, my God. Why am I hearing swindlers? Okay? I don't even use that word. But, anyway, you got somebody that's trying to swindle you. All right? They're trying to manipulate dip you. You got to be careful, sweetheart. It's time for you to do what you need to do. Be strategic. Put in the plan and get out. Exit stage left. Move into calmer waters. Have some peace in your life, okay? And if people don't bring peace into your life, sweetheart, you need to distance yourself. If you don't, if you have to deal with these people, distance them, all right? Deal with them only when you have to in a limited amount of time, okay? These people will suck the air out of a room, all right? If these people bring all kind of disruption and changes in your life and you don't necessarily have to deal with them, cut that cord. Do what's best for you, all right? But if you're not going to do what's best for you, I'm going to tell you one thing, and I'm not trying to be mean or complain or anything about that or anything, but sweetheart, if you're not going to do anything about <laughs> the, the, if you're not, okay, if you're not going to do anything about this problem, this person, the things that they bring in your life, the stop, the go, the inconsistencies in the relationship, this person is not going to change. So if you're not going to do anything about the situation, don't complain about it, all right? This is how this person is, and this is how you're going to have to roll with it, okay? If you're not happy here, do what you need to do to exit stage right and move on, okay? There's that. Grow, transform your life. Let Source do what Source is going to do in your life, all right? Hold on to your hat. But open your arms and be receptive of the blessings that Source is trying to give to you that someone else is blocking, okay? So anyway, I'm sorry I was fussing, <laughs> but my thing is I love you guys and uh, we need to stop allowing other people that, you know, don't have good intentions to come in and stop us from our blessings here, okay? If we're not aligned with these people, these people aren't aligned with us, no shade, no shame, no, no harsh judgment or anything like that is just not for you. You understand? And we have to be okay with that because when we're holding on to people that don't, you know, align with us, it's not going to work out, sweetheart. You could spend years in this situation in a cycle with a person going back and forth and never step into your power, never step into that life that was meant for you, okay? So like I said, sweetheart, instead of choosing someone that's bringing disruptions in your life, sweetheart, choose yourself first, all right? There's that. You take the reins back in your life and stop allowing somebody to, you know, push and pull you and maneuver you all over the place. Remember who you are, a child of the Most High. You understand? 
act accordingly, okay? Put your crown back on. Sometimes we have to duct tape it back on. Sometimes mine is actually hanging around my ears. You know, we got to slide it back up. Remember who you are. You're a king's kid, all right? There's that, the king, the most high. I love you guys. Have an amazing day. Bye.